Right, guys, this rabbit hole goes so deep. It's all over the place. What is the hidden constellation? Although it is one of the largest constellations in the sky, Ophicus, the serpent bearer, we all get that, 2025 is the year of the serpent, is one of the least well-known. While large in area and prominent in the summer sky, it contains no bright stars. So it is rarely seen. Ophicus is surrounded by brighter, more, more famous constellations. This is all going to come together in a minute, so bear with me. What is the rarest constellation? Ophicus, the serpent bearer, is sometimes called the 13th or forgotten constellation of the zodiac. The number 13 being the M, you know, the Masons, that's one use of it. There were 13 colonies in the beginning of America, the feathered serpent. That's because the sun passes in front of Ophicus from about November 30th to December 18th each year. Now, this is important. The sun passes through Ophicus, the hidden constellation, and the rarest constellation, which is the serpent bearer constellation. From November 30 to December 18th. Do you know why that's really amazing? Because in December around that time is when they cast their votes for president in the Electoral College. In other words, that's when we find out who the next serpent bearer of America, the land of the feathered serpent, is in December. Now, check this out. Who is in the Electoral College? Each state gets as many electors as it has members of Congress, House, and Senate, including Washington, D.C.'s three electors. There are currently 538 electors in all. Now look at that number. 538 electors in all, including all 50 states. The amount of electors are 538. 38. That number in the Strong's Greek Concordance is to cheat. <laughs> Go figure. Or deceive. Or delude. You know, like a strong delusion. <laughs> what are the odds of that? The amount of electors in this country, the land of the feathered serpent, which is America, the amount of electors, 538, means to cheat in the Greek and to deceive. And to delude, like a strong delusion. <laughs> they know, we're in the Matrix, and it's all set up, and they know it. Now I'm showing it to you guys, unraveling the Matrix. Now, if you've been keeping up with me, you know my Columbus pattern. Why else this number is very, very amazing. What was the Cyrus Edict 538? The Hebrew Bible states that Cyrus issued the decree of liberation to the Jews, Cyrus's edict for the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem, marked a great epoch in the history of the Jewish people. This was 538 BC, and Cyrus is on the coin with Trump now, right? Everybody knows Trump and Cyrus coin, right? Now, if you start from 1492, when Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue and came to America, the land of the feathered serpent, and you go 538 years forward, you come directly to 2030, the end. Hence, Agenda 2030. This number 538 is amazing. Now, check this out for confirmation. So, if you start in 538 BC, when Cyrus gave this edict... To rebuild the temple. And you go 2,030 years forward. You come directly to 1492. You see the number 2030? And then if you start from 1492. And you go 538 years forward. You come to 2030. How amazing is that? Now let's talk about Christopher Lloyd. Notice the word Christ in his name. And you know he was Doc in Back to the Future. And remember, the DeLorean had to go 88 miles per hour. And I've shown you guys all the connections with the number 88, how Trump equals 88, 
in simple gematria and how Biff is Trump in the movie Back to the Future. And there's all these ties and connections to the movie Back to the Future and Trump and the number 88. Now we have Christopher Lloyd, which the first part of his name is Christ. So this number 88 is connected to Trump and to this movie and to Christopher Lloyd. Now, what are the chances that Christopher Lloyd would be in a completely separate movie with the number 88? And there he is, there's Christopher Lloyd in a movie literally called 88. So we can see them telling us things subliminally, like his tie having the sun on it, you know, the sun god coming from sun worship, and then Christopher Lloyd calling himself Sirius. No, I'm Sirius. Sirius is the dog star in the Canis Major constellation, and the dog star, you know, canine, that's where the word canine comes from. And the dog star is actually Satan. So these these movies are all interlinked and, and have to do with each other, telling us stories. And, you know, you, I want you guys to see that. I mean, because look, in Back to the Future, it's about 88 miles per hour. Then later on, Christopher Lloyd as an old man. He's in a movie called 88. I mean, what are the odds of these movies all connecting like this? They are. They're telling us stories. Hollywood is Satan's prophetic tool. That's what all this is. Hollywood is Satan's prophetic tool. And, you know, it's interlinked with our reality or the reality that they are creating 
in this matrix. So not only are the movies linked together and showing us this picture, but they're also linked together with the reality of what we are seeing as far as what they are doing, which is also kind of a scripted movie. It's definitely a scripted movie, but it's another form of reality, I guess you could say. So it's all interconnected and interlinked, real life with movies and movies with other movies. 